friends welcome back to our youtube channel best freaking friends forever thank you guys for watching tuning in if you guys have watched any of our other videos thank you guys for commenting or subscribing we appreciate it so today's episode we're talking about why you are sleeping so our trivia question for you guys is which actor or actress was also in mary poppins and i did not get this one so this should be interesting what people say yep. so while you were sleeping, it was released on April 21st of 1995. Opening or this budget was 17 million. Opening weekend, it made 9 million. And with inflation, it went to 15 million or would go to 15 million today. In the US, it grossed 81 million, which with inflation is 139 million today. And worldwide, it grossed 182 million, which with inflation today is 312 million. So not too shabby. Seems like a really low budget now that I'm looking at it again and thinking about it. It's only seventeen million. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, and yeah, because this one came out after Speed. Mm hmm. Well, and it's got Bill Pullman. It's got Peter Gallagher. It's got um, Sandra Bullock. It's got. I mean, it's got a lot of. Again, I mean, I don't know. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because he was in Independence Day. Mm -hmm. um, Casper he was in a lot of big movies mm -hmm. yeah I like him I like Bill Pullman mm -hmm. yeah he's just got a way about him that's really nice mm -hmm. nice I don't know just like his mannerisms and stuff are just different yep well even Peter Gallagher he well we know him from um, the OC which, here he plays the lawyer. He also played a lawyer in the OC. Right. Which is kind of cool. Which, obviously, the OC came much later. But well, there's not much acting, though. A lot of sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> just, well, and it's kind of like while you were sleeping, it's like images of the world and sleeping beauty occur in the film. So, like, the young version of Lucy in the beginning is being read Sleeping Beauty by her father. Mm -hmm. Which the film's reversal of Sleeping Beauty. So really, Peter's the beauty in this case, and Lucy is the prince. <laughs> so, yeah, this one's um, at Christmas time too. Mm -hmm. She has to work Christmas Day, and that's how. Well, she fantasizes about him throughout. Yes. Yeah, and like you said, she fantasizes about him. She sees him daily. He never talks to her. That I see anyway, or that I remembered. Not until Christmas Day, he tells her Merry Christmas. But it's yep. not busy either. It's real slow. So he probably had the time to tell her before mm -hmm. he knows always in a rush type of thing. Well, no, this the role of Lucy was really written for Demi Moore. And Sandra Bullock took the role saying she could relate to have it just broken up from a four-year relationship. And again, it's like, I can't imagine anybody else but Sandra Bullock being in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they do that kind of thing, I'm just, I don't, they all, I feel like they always end up with the right actor for the most part. Mm -hmm. They always seem to do pretty good. I think I'd be horrible at casting. I'd always pick just my favorites and be done with it if I had to be a casting director. Yeah, I feel like if I did, I'd never get any new people. Like, I, I would always go for, you know what I mean? You got to have people that take chances on actors, like coming up mm -hmm. and, you know. You found some goodies. Oh, for sure. Uh, so what was your favorite part? Uh, let's see. My favorite part. I like the wedding scene where she's giving the speech. Kind of about, you know, falling in love with Jack and not Peter. And just mm -hmm. kind of professing, pretty much professing her love for him. I, I like that part. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Well, it's in the hospital and Jack's brother is still in his uh, hospital gown during that scene, too. Mm -hmm. uh, I like when they're walking up to her apartment and they start slipping and sliding. 
and falling all over the place. And then he eventually rips his pants. I like mm-hmm. that scene. I think it's just, like, well, I think that's where they really like, they start gazing into each other's eyes type of deal. And you kind of can tell that they might be in love just in a yeah. short period of time. I was going to say, I feel like this, I don't know, we talked about that. I, Because <laughs> I called you and I was like, this is what, I don't know. I just thought it was a very weird, not weird movie, but just, I don't know. Everything was so fast. Like, I feel like Jack came on to her very quickly. Like, they got together very fast. Like, the family was, I mean, from going, because obviously what ends up happening is they feel, they think she's his fiance. They think she's Peter's fiance. Mm-hmm. And so the family immediately, like, they didn't even know he had a fiancé. And they immediately, like, treat her like she's family, family and she's been there. Yeah, and been there forever. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I just felt like the whole thing also, I don't know, it was bizarre to me to watch. Well, like after seeing what happens at the end, because we do finally get to see what kind of person he, like, what life he lived. What kind of person he was at the end, because he had proposed to the other girl before his accident and she was married and so of course the family was like what are you doing you can't be doing that so i think when they saw lucy i think they were like oh god he got a good girl like they saw a good humble woman and they were like oh okay maybe he's changing he's changing his ways and i think that's why they were so quick to take her in well and then of course the sister she probably was just glad to have a sister Mm -hmm. the younger girl yeah. Well, isn't it funny that so Sandra Bullock has the love interest Jack in this one, and Jack was in Speed. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's always ties. Always, oh, there's always something that ties one movie to the next. Oh, we're like he was scared to tell his dad about leaving the family business. Mm-hmm. But he kind of was still in a way staying in the business. He just was going to make the furniture rather than get it from estates. Yeah. Well, and I think that's something that she kind of, because all the time that they got to spend together, she pretty much helped him get up the courage to even do that. Mm -hmm. Like to even tell her father, tell his father that, you know, and there were so many times where she would get caught with, uh, what was his name? Joey or Joe? Oh, the the neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. The neighbor. And it's like, oh my goodness. Like, so it made it look like she was with three different guys. That it's, you know what I mean? It was kind of like, oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Well, in his character, I liked it. Joe Jr., right? Because mm-hmm. his dad owns the apartments and he helps run them and stuff. So at first you're kind of like, oh, he's so creepy. He's annoying. But by the end, I really liked him. Well, like, yeah. by the end, too, he's got a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Or what seems to be a girlfriend. And he kind of leaves Lucy alone after that, kind of. Yeah. And then... Well, yeah. I like when he says, All right, Lucy, it's me or him. <laughs> and she instantly says him. Yeah. And, you know, we could, you, could, you could have time to think about it. <laughs> like, he got shut down <laughs> quick. But I like it because he's, you know, optimistic about it. And then... Yeah. Because normally those guys are always creepy through the whole movie. I feel like yeah. they're all like that character that's usually in a movie is always like, oh, really this guy again. But I liked how they did this one because you, well, he, you know, he got, he convinced Jack that she and him were together. Well, he goes like this, like getting it in. And it's like, no, sir, that is not happening. Well, he keeps, well, he's like, I don't know, they, he believes it so quickly, too, and then he gets mad at her, and the, I mean, it's just... Right, well, the pregnancy, where yeah, he believes that she's pregnant, and he yells at the party, and she's like, well, now you ruined the party for me. Well, and then I think when she finds out, or he finds out she's engaged to Peter, he was like, wait, what? Because I think he wanted her to be with Jack, or he thought she should be with Jack. And I think you can tell from the beginning, obviously, even when Peter wakes up. You can still tell she's a better fit for Jack than she is for Peter. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep, and he puts um, he put that stamp on her passport. Mm-hmm. He took her for their honeymoon. Where, where did she want to go? Florence, wasn't it? Was it yep. Florence? Uh, let's see. I know they said that when Jack and Peter are playing seven-card stud poker... Peter's still in a coma. Jack is dealing cards for both of them. And Jack's winning cards are the dead man's hand, which are aces and eights, which is kind of cool. They're kind of interesting. 
Yeah, yeah, because he's trying to win Lucy with playing cards, mm-hmm. and he he could have cheated. <laughs> he could have cheated. His brother wouldn't have known. He was asleep. Well, the right. end, it was kind of interesting that Peter wasn't even mad at Jack. I mean, really. Mm mm. Which, well, I mean, I don't know. I try to think if my brothers, if that was them, like what they would do. I don't know. Right. Well, it too. He once his um, original fiance showed up. He kind of had his own drama to deal with at that point. So he really couldn't even focus on Jack trying to take his girl. Uh, we want to thank you for watching and subscribing and thank you for commenting down below if you gave us the answer to our trivia question in the beginning. And if you did, we're going to give you the answer now. And the question was, which um, actor in this movie played in Mary Poppins? And it was Elsie. Uh, she played, which her original name, well, her real name is Glennis Johns is the character or no, that's the actor that plays Elsie. And she was in Mary Poppins. She was Mrs. Winifred. She was the mother. All right, friends. We thank you for watching and subscribing and sharing and liking. We thank you so, so much. We appreciate it all the way around. I am Tiffany, and this is my BFF, Shelly. Join us next time, friends, for another great episode.